So this girl and I, we started a relationship. I've known her for a very, very long time and getting with her was a big thing for me because I actually did like her. Now, I told her I wanted to be with her for a very long time, you know, all the lovey-dovey stuff, you know, everything you want to do in a relationship, whatnot, right? Unfortunately, I wasn't getting that same energy from her, which was a little off to me, but I let it slide. Now, her and I were together for about maybe a week and a half, you know what I'm saying? A week and a half, and well, <laughs> we didn't even talk for most of those days of that week and a half. So in, in reality, we were only together for a week. If you think, if you like add up the days we didn't talk, we were only together for about a week, maybe even less than that. And now I know she got a job and stuff like that, which is totally understandable why she doesn't text back for certain periods of time, things like that, you know, it's totally understandable. But I know you are not working at 10 p.m., 9 p.m., 11 p.m. And now don't take it as I'm a guy who does nothing all day. I always, I'm always occupying myself with something, whether it's going to the gym, working out, playing basketball with my friends, just doing doing a lot of stuff throughout the day to keep myself busy. And even when I'm doing that stuff, I try to find time to hit you up and say, yo, I'm doing this or hey, what's up? You know, it's just a little what's up or peep in and stuff like that. And throughout this whole relationship, I found if I didn't initiate conversation, we never talked, which is another red flag because I, why do I always have to be the one to initiate conversation? Why can't you initiate conversation? I text her on Monday, right? And this is like the last five days of our relationship, right? This is it. This is the end game. Now I text her on Monday, right? This text basically says, Hey, identify the problem. We need to fix the problem. Let's work it out. She reads, she reads it, right? She reads the message, but she doesn't respond until Wednesday, Wednesday, my brother. What in the world? This this text is like relationship defining text, right? This is where we find our first problem and we fix it. Now, when she replies on Wednesday, she explains why she doesn't text back because of her work having a no phone policy, which is 100% understandable. I let it slide, you know, and then I told her, you know, I thought you weren't feeling what I said, you know, why you like, I thought you left me on red because I thought you weren't feeling what I said. You know what she finna say next gang? You know, you know what she finna say next gang? You know what she finna say next? My read receipts aren't even supposed to be on. And then she turns it off. What the world, man? This some more. Man, what? It <clears throat> okay, we're back. All right. Sorry for that little outburst, but um, in this message, she says... She also mentions a relationship with no labels. And now the first thing I think of when a relationship with no labels is a TikTok ad relationship advice video. So I ask her, you know, what do you mean by a relationship with no label? And she's basically like, go look it up. Now over text, I could tell this was super blunt. Like this was a very, very blunt response to my question, but I do go look it up. And what I get out of the articles that I read was that I can't call you boyfriend, or I can't call you. Whoa, pause. You're he's gay. Yo. I can't call you girlfriend. I can't or you. I can't call you girlfriend, and you can't call me boyfriend. Right? We're in a relationship, but not really, which is weird. But what else I also did read was is that it can change. So I do ask her promptly. I was like, Hey, will this change? Will whatever we have going on right now change? I made it up in my mind is that whatever she says here, bro will determine the future of this relationship. Whatever she says here will determine the future of this relationship. If she says yes, then we keep the relationship going, right? Everything's good, we gonna keep the relationship going, we gonna fix this, we gonna move past this, we gonna become a better couple. If she says, I don't know or no, you gotta dead the relationship, you gotta stop it right then and there. You know what I'm saying? Just stop responding. That's all, just stop, you just gotta stop at that point. If she says, I don't know or no. And um, man, I hate to say it, but I hate to say it, but I wouldn't be making this video if she said yes. So she definitely said, I don't know, which is what I expected. I expected her to say, I don't know. I responded by just saying a thumbs up and going to sleep. That's all I did. That's all I could do. I think that was the last. No, it wasn't the last text. But then the next day, you know, she says that doesn't sound very promising. I tell her, bro, what you told me wasn't very promising, because if you don't know, if you don't know, then what is the point of us being in a relationship? And then she says, sorry, that's how I feel, I guess. I would have been lying. Now, this is what she says. This is what she says. I would have been lying if I said it would change. And that is where she slipped up, my brother. That's where she slipped up. Because once she said that, that's basically saying it's not changing. 
That's basically her saying it's not changing. So her trying to say, I don't know, try to put doubt in my mind, bro. Then she's like, you're not helping the situation. And by this time, bro, I just stopped responding because I'm not entertaining that little mindset, you know, trying to play with my head in a way. I'm thinking, what situation is there for, uh, for to help? If the relationship isn't going anywhere by what you just said saying it wouldn't change where would this relationship go she says she then says i don't understand how you want me but won't understand how she felt i mean i truly <laughs> number one i understand how you feel you know what i'm saying since you're going to college and i'm not gonna be there all the time you were gonna end this anyway you know what i'm saying and i felt and and if i fell for that no labels uh thing you would have said we were never boyfriend or girlfriend and you would have been on your merry way if i fell for that little thing you would have ended it maybe about a week or three weeks later and said hey we were never boyfriend and girlfriend so what's the point why are you so mad so guys moral of the story is don't take relationship advice from tiktok and don't try to run the game on rtg dime because rtg stands for run the game and that's what i do and without further ado god bless peace out 100. Bow. Ha ha. Yes, sir.